Hey guys, um, I don't think I've told you guys, I might have told you, but I don't think I've shown you, but I made Peach a brand new cage, and it is a Ben cage, and the square inches actually equals out to about 900 square inches, so that's really nice compared to what she had before. Uh, I'm not really going to mention that because it was really sad and I'm ashamed of it, but I'm just going to give you a cage tour. So this is pretty much the top layer. And I'm going to just go ahead and start. Over there is her food bowl. She has an Ecotrician Snack Shack log thing. This is the one for guinea pigs and rabbits, but I didn't want her to have the tiny, tiny one because she wouldn't, it just didn't really seem good for her because she's kind of a big hamster. And there's, it's stuffed with Timothy hay that I just kind of put in there and she likes to sit in there and eat it. Um, she has a seagrass twist. Um, she has her wood chew. And she has an apple wood chew and then a like an alfalfa and loofah mix chew. And I bought her a bender bridge and she doesn't sleep in it or anything, but she does like sitting on top of it and chewing on it as you can see. And then way over here is just her Petco water bottle. This is the bottom layer of her um, cage. And if you might have noticed that this is not Carefresh and it's not the Aspen and I've decided to stop using the Aspen because it does set off my allergies and it's extremely dusty and it's just not very good for their respiratory system or mine for that matter. And the Carefresh was just so expensive we couldn't afford it anymore since we are having a little bit of a financial issue right now. Um, so we decided on the KT Clean and Cozy and it's not scented. I refuse to buy the scented ones. Um, but it is just really, it's extremely soft. I was really impressed with it and I bought the biggest bag they had at my like it was a pet smart and it was I filled up all three of my tank my hamster cages with this and I've only, I've used just a little more than half the bag and I'm so impressed and this is amazing material for her to burrow in and I'm gonna show you something pretty awesome later but this is the bottom and this is just her rodent wheel that I think she yeah and then she has all these things back here. It's like her little... She has a, um... Oh, I don't remember what it's called, but I got it from, um, Kiko Bieber. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but, um, she gave it to me, and I've never seen these before, so my hamsters really like these. And she has a dog bone back here, yeah. She stores all of her, like, treats and stuff. And she has a wood chew, a heart. Um... Here's another chew, but she's actually chewed on you. It's kind of her potty corner. Um, she has a kiwi, um, just a wood chew that she actually likes. Um, she has her igloo that was in her old house. It used to be upstairs, but um, I moved it down because she was just throwing it around and it was just a giant mess. So <laughs> she kind of moved it. Um, over here is her hay. A grass uh, apple that she has torn apart a little bit and this is the coolest thing I've ever seen she never really got to burrow with Carefresh just because it wasn't very cooperative and this actually stays and this is so cool I mean she used to use this spot as a bed but this is so cool she made ah sorry fingers she made a burrow and it just goes back in there and there's just a little little hole back there and I think that is just so awesome. She could see inside more, but it's just a little awesome place. I thought that was just so cool because I've never seen her do that, and that's like the nature of hamsters. Hey, baby, you want to come say hi? Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you're wondering where the top of your house went. Yeah. So that's basically her cage tour. So thanks for watching.